Hi, I'm First Alert Chief Meteorologist Stephen Bowers. Monday, April the 8th, mark that date because that is the date of the big solar eclipse. It's the last solar eclipse that will be visible in the United States until the year 2044. So that's 20 years away. I'm going to start here by focusing on the path of totality, where the biggest part of the eclipse happens. We will be able to see at least a partial eclipse here in Colorado. But this is going to enter Texas from Mexico, just west and slightly southwest of San Antonio here. And then the shadow of the... Uh, the sun that's cast by the moon there, of course, uh, it's going to move right over the top of Waco, Texas, Dallas, Texas, and then right up uh, just to the north of Longview, Texarkana. It moves right across Conway, Little Rock, and Jonesboro in Arkansas, and then clips Evansville, Indiana, Terre Haute, and even Indianapolis. Bloomington and Indianapolis are almost dead center in the shadow that's cast by the sun as the moon moves in between the sun and the earth. And Dayton, Springfield, Toledo, and Cleveland will all be near the center of the shadow as this continues off toward the northeast after about 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And then it moves right over Erie, Buffalo, Rochester, Watertown, and even up toward Burlington, Vermont uh, between 5 and 5.30 and then right across Maine. And then out of the United States, just after 6.30, at about 6.35, it will cross into Canada. Now, I mentioned that although we don't get to see the totality portion of this solar eclipse in Colorado, we will get to see something from this. In fact, about 60% of the sun is going to be covered up. So we'll see a little sliver of it here in Colorado. You see the closer to that path of totality that you get, the more of the sun is actually going to be covered up by the moon, and the closer to the Pacific Northwest you get, the less of that sun is actually going to be covered. So let's talk about what we can expect here in Grand Junction. Again, it's going to be uh, about 59 to 60 percent eclipse, so almost two-thirds of the sun will be covered by the moon as it uh, makes its way across the sky. And for the Grand Junction area specifically, the eclipse will begin again in the morning, just before noon, 11.23 to be precise, on Monday, April the 8th. And then we watch it, it takes it almost an hour for it to reach the full maximum portion of the eclipse. That's expected to happen at 12.34. That's an easy time to remember, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 12.34, just after lunchtime. And then the sun will gradually work its way out from behind the moon. And for us around Grand Junction and the western slope, the eclipse will end at around 1.46 p.m. The farther north and west you are, remember the less of the sun is going to be eclipsed and the farther southeast you are, the more of the sun will actually be eclipsed. This is something to look forward to. As I mentioned off the top, this is the last solar eclipse for 20 years that we are going to be able to see in North America. And even the next eclipse in 2044 won't necessarily be visible in all of North America. So it may be a while before we get to see something like this again, even though we don't necessarily see the full totality of the eclipse here in Colorado. So this is something we're going to be watching, and I know a lot of our sister stations that are owned by our parent company, Great Television, that are in the path from Waco to uh, Jonesboro, Arkansas, and even up through Indiana and Ohio, uh, they're going to be uh, able to send us back some good videos so that we'll be able to share that with you as well. But again, we can see a uh, part of it here at home as well. Remember, if you do want to go outside and view this, please use protection for your eyes. If you don't, you can permanently damage your vision. And sunglasses, just regular everyday sunglasses, these are not sufficient protection for your eyes. What you really need are those eclipse glasses. You've seen them, they, they kind of look a little bit flimsy, and they kind of look like those old school uh, uh, 3D glasses uh, that we used to get for 3D uh, movies and things like that. But um, the other thing that will work if you can't find those are welder's goggles that are rated at least 13 or more. So those are the best protections for your eyes and remember that protection is extraordinarily important because as I say you can permanently damage your vision if you don't protect your eyes. So again this is inside of two weeks away. This is something uh, exciting to look forward to. I hope you get a chance to see it even if you have to work. Maybe you can uh, run outside and, and check it out and uh, I'm sure that many of the schools will be doing the same thing with uh, students who are in class on that Monday, April the 8th. Again, it begins just about 
about 11.30 here in Grand Junction. It peaks just after 12.30 here in Grand Junction, and then it's over uh, about an hour after that. That again on Monday, April the 8th.